Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. What? 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 What is got? What? What? Who do you think you are? You. <laughs> are we packing you away with the Christmas stuff? Are we packing you away? Are you staying in here till Christmas? Excuse me, Cookie Potter. Are you staying in here till Christmas? Give your mum a kiss. No, I love you. Hello, my lovers. It's Saturday morning. had a little bit of kip last night night before we only got four hours and I'm heading home just for a matter of hours see my babies see Ash let my shoulders drop have a day just have a well just have half a day at home so I'm on the A64 just heading to the A1M and I thought I'd have a little catch up with you so Suze has got quite a swollen ear gets little pressure sores now because she can only lay well, for months months if not a year or more she's only been able to lay on her right hand side so it's she got a, a pressure sore here before on her ear that cleared up that's a, that's a tip I want to give you actually let's have a tip chat so that sore on her ear in the hospice we've tried everything to to get her ear off the pillow like little donut rings like um dressings on it like a towel rolled up to keep it off you know the friction from it rubbing on the pillow everything so we put the the, the barrier cream on the healing cream um and then we tried a instead of the fluffy like hotel pillows, we tried one of the ergonomic um, memory foam pillows, and that's cleared up. So that's brilliant. So if you've got a relative or yourself or anyone that's having an issue with pressure sores on their face or head that could help switch up the pillow. I mean, it could make it worse, but in Susie's case, switching up the pillow into one of these memory foam made it better. But she has then woke up with like a swollen, really swollen lobe. She looks like she's been in the boxing ring, cauliflower ear. And I don't know if it's been folded over or bunched up. And it looks like it's got a, a bit of, it's like fluid filled. So we're keeping an eye on that. <coughs> um, what else did I have to catch you up on? Um, washed Susie's hair yesterday. Well, Susie did most of it. I'd actually just nodded off in the chair next to her because we hadn't slept the night before. And I woke up, she didn't want to wake me up. I woke up with her washing her hair over the, 
over the sink. She didn't want to get in a fuss to me bags wet. So she did it over the sink. But as soon as I saw her up, I said, why didn't you wake me up? And she went, I didn't want to. And um, anyway, everything hurts with her bending over her back and everything. And of course, she's not really walked anywhere for months. So I helped to do her hair. <coughs> so she feels all fresh. The pain patch, don't know whether it is making a difference. I think it is. So that's a good thing. She has still been taking the oral oxy and she was in a bit of pain this morning. other tip so the other tip is <clears throat> and it's a tricky one actually because we didn't think of it for an awfully long time but the mattresses that the patients residents are on are the blow-up mattresses to again prevent pressure sores but when we found when We'll call, we'll call them the patient. When the patient has some sort of mobility left, they're like trying to sit up in custard. And Susie was losing mobility, trying to get traction on this blow-up bed <laughs> to be able to sit up comfortable, comfortably. So they've also changed her mattress to like a foam, medical foam mattress. And she can immediately sit up, um, not on not onto a bum or a back, but she can sit up propped to the side. <clears throat> but doesn't it make you think? You know, like elderly patients or patients that are losing mobility. I know you have to weigh it up for the pressure sores and things like that, but they. I think they lo they're losing mobility quicker because they can't, they can't, they haven't got the strength to be able to push onto an air mattress to be able to get themselves moved into the position they want to be moved into. So that's another little tip. And since we've changed the mattress, so she's not swimming around, you know, trying to push into nothing to get herself Comfy. <clears throat> I really need to make a list of um, all these things, don't I? All the things that make life for her just that tiny bit easier. <clears throat> speed limits across the motorway. Right, I'm going to get off then so that I can spend time with my kids. And yeah, I'll catch up with you later. I'm going to watch a film. I'm going to watch a film, Dad. Mm -hmm. Come on then. Do you want to do the dodgems again? Dad, can I talk to you for... Oh, Mummy loves you so much. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you so much. Okay. Mm. My brutal baby. My little treasure. You don't know how much I'm going to miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be good.
Oh, my darling. Mm, my darling. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come here. Oh, I miss you. Thank you for giving me cuddles for the time that I came home. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Mm. <laughs> what are you shaking for? My little puppet chops. Oh, my baby. I love you. I love you so much. You know that mummy needs to be where she needs to be right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my little treasure drops. Come here. Come here. I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, my darling, I miss you. We gave Teabag a cuddle, didn't we? But he's, he's gone to sleep. <laughs> Love you. I need to quickly water my plant. Oh, I thought that's out. Are you ready to come off? No, I'm going to leave that on. Uh, and water my plants. And then get off. Back to Sue's. Hey, cheeky chops. If we don't live now and die, never make it out alive. Plans are changing, rearranging all the time. So come away with me. Let's break free. Fall asleep where the land and ocean meet. Wake up to the sounds of no one around. And as the sun comes up, the glow will show us where we need to go. All this waiting, so frustrating, let's just drive. So come away. Right, got back from visiting home and Susan's asleep. I think I got back to her about 5 pm, maybe a bit sooner. And I couldn't wake her up, so I left her. And then I fell asleep and I woke up at 6 am and Sue's was still asleep. She hadn't been up in the night, she hadn't called the nurses, she hadn't um, got up for for anything. So when she woke up, I was like, gosh, Suze, you've, you've been asleep for 12 hours, or a bit more. Um, so immediately rang for pain relief, but unfortunately, because she'd been asleep so long, which she obviously needed, she was sick. So we got all that cleaned up and changed the nightie and everything. And then when the painkillers came, she took her anti-sickness and um, then took the painkillers and the tablets. So 
so she'll keep that down. I've just sat with her for 40 minutes, but my husband, Ash, and our brother, Terry, man and Susie's brother, Terry, are both heading to Mum's now to pick up a sofa. So when Mum and Kev moved out the lodge into the, like, assisted living apartment thingy, um, Mum had two sofas in the lodge that she she didn't want to. She only wanted one in the new place. So she's said that me and Ash can have the other one and we're going to put it in the bay window where Minky and Dave like to look out the window. So our riser recliner will either sell or move to the other end of the room and we'll have that sofa in the bay window. But I'm going to go and meet them. It gives me a chance to meet, to see Mum and to see Ash and Terry at the same time. I know I only saw Ash yesterday, but it is worth it is worth me popping over. So I've left Sue's snoozing. She's had a yogurt, and this is the sort of time. It's quarter past eight now. This is the sort of time that Sue's goes back to sleep. Anyway, till maybe about ten, and I'll be back then. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get cracking. Hiya. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, let me get out. Oh, my old bum. Look at the blue sky and sunshines. Oh, it's beautiful. Come with me, Ribba. So, yeah, we need to move. Is it that top sofa? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that one's staying. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to be filmed, Kev? <laughs> His pants. <laughs> Can, do you want to be filmed, Mummy? Yeah. Just show your new hair? No, just a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. And look at Mummy's new hair. It looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, Terry needs a haircut. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. I'm getting less and less bothered now. You're you're upside upside down. I can tell. Your head's on upside down. But it's hot. Make so your head sweat. Oh yeah, you need to shave it then. Right, let's get cracking. Me, to me, to you. <laughs> Terry's not built for this. Oh, perfect. Amazing. Thank you. So mum's left with that one. We've just got the wrong cushion, so Ash is swapping it. And then you can put a throw over that mum, can't you? Yes, that's right. To do. Yeah, it looks lovely now. Yeah. Much better. Oh! See you later. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little flying visit. Let's get you in there. Oh, they've gone off for breakfast. I'm going to rush back to Sue's. But it was lovely to see Mum. The last thing I said to Terry and Ash, <laughs> other than just see you later then, was don't you scratch my walls when you're putting that sofa in the house. Oh, I'll have you. You know what men are like. There's, they'll always they'll always scratch a wall or something. 
or my laminate flooring or something. Because they're just like bulls in china shops, aren't they? Okay. Oh, gosh, my neck is killing. I'm stiff. I'm so stiff. Oh, I really need like a spa day or a massage or a new neck. Oh. Hurt my C3. Is it C3? In a car accident. And I, it's a bit crunchy these days. I'm glad you saw a little snippet of mum then. And Terry. Does need a haircut, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a beautiful day. I think it's set to get a little bit nippy this week. But the sun's shining and that's... um. Needed. Right. <laughs> into the sky it fill the morning air with warmth and life sounds of birds in harmony and you there right next to me 